Hello and welcome to another episode of Blaster Katie Painting. Today we're going to be painting the Sicarian Infiltrators. Cesarian? Sicarian? I don't know. Games Workshop has the most exhausting names. Shouldn't have to guess all the time. Let's do it! So we started with a spray of aluminum from Rust-Oleum, and we just coated that on there. Now, I know that I took parts from the kit to make my guys a little bit more unique. I wanted some of them to have the guns, but also the hands. I, I don't think they're legal to play in a tournament or anything, but um, they're my miniatures, so I don't care. Also, I think they look creepy and weird and scary. So I'm going to take some of the Gravelord Grey and Black Templar. I'm going to mix that together. I find that the black's a little too dark. And I'm going to put this on all the uh, clothing bits. Basically on their arms and uh, the spots on their back. Leaving the breastplate uh, clear. Then I'm going to get some Slaughter Red from Speed Paint here. And I'm going to put this all on the breastplate. And the uh, helmet, also the crotch piece. I don't know what it is. Crotch, cod's piece, crotch piece for a robot. Doesn't matter. I'm putting it there. I'm making it weird. If I talk about it too much, it's weird. Brassy Brass, Glorious Gold, and Chainmail Silver. We are going to use the Chainmail Silver to fix up any mistakes that we might have made uh, getting any of the red or black where we didn't want it. We're going to use the gold and the brass to pick out different details on the miniature. So the gold is going to go around the rim of the helmet here. It's also going to go in the eyes and uh, some of the chest pieces. And the brass will be used in the same manner. Basically, we're just breaking up some of that a little bit. Once that's dry, we're going to take a brown wash that I made myself, including the label. I painted that on there. It's terrible. This is going to go over the entire miniature. This is going to shade the whole thing down and dirty it up. This is a weird robot that hangs out on Mars. I don't want it to be clean. I don't want it to be factory fresh. I want it to be a dirty old weird robot. Next, we're going to take some Warp Lightning, and this is going to be for the two canisters on the back. Now we're going to take some Electric Blue. Uh, this is a really nice color. Um, this is going to go on the islands. Next, we're going to take some Beharit Red um, because I felt like I've said Hot Orange way too many times on the channel. One more. Hot Orange. And on the back of the miniature, he has some little pressure gauges, and we're going to use that just on here. Next, we're going to take some Arctic White, and we are going to dot in little tiny reflections here just to uh, punch it up a little bit. Now 
Now we're gonna take some desert sand earth texture basing paste from uh, Vallejo. We're gonna put this all over the miniature, uh, sorry, all over the base of the miniature, and uh, don't put it on your miniature. <laughs> I'm gonna create piles of this and then use another brush to create uh, little tiny craters. Um, I want this to be a weird Martian-y landscape, but I also wanna do some, um, use a new uh, product that I got. I'm going to take some rocks and some sand and just throw that and you can just put that right onto the basing paste and then just press it down with another brush. Next I'm going to take Fire Giant Orange once that's all dried and I'm going to put it over the entire base. Next, I'm going to take Swamp Green Water Gel from AK Interactive. This is a new product that I have, and I'm going to fill those craters uh, with this stuff. We'll add a black rim around the base, and these guys are done. Um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I really like them. They're really weird. Um, this, I tried to put them in different poses. I really like that one. Um, I'm, I'm very happy with I'll probably use them for uh, Stargrave or uh, possibly Kill Team. I think you can use them for Kill Team. But they're very dirty, grungy Mars robots. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with them. I really like them. So you could probably finish off a box of these guys pretty quickly. They come with five... Uh, miniatures per box and uh, I decided to do 10 in one sitting. It didn't take that long using these methods. Um, really the speed paints and the contrast paints going over metal is really good. I'm really really happy with the results of those. So thank you so much once again. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying them. If you know how to say the name of these guys, Caesarean, Sicarian, it's probably Sicarian because Caesarean sounds like uh, you know, C-section. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all of the YouTube stuff, and we will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. So, uh, yep, no. My family came home right in the middle as I was recording this. And my three-year-old sat by the door and cried. And screamed. Because he's the devil. Destroy you.